Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll show you the newest, fastest, easiest way to root your HTC Thunderbolt. This is the only method that will not wipe your data, so all your apps will stay, all your contacts will stay, etc. What we're going to be using is the revolutionary tool. This tool will give your bootloader S off, which will then allow you to gain root. Uh, the revolutionary tool is put out by Unrevoked and Alpha Rev. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is download the drivers in the video description. I have them right here. You're going to install those. And at this point, you should have your phone unplugged. And also, you cannot have HTC Sync installed on your computer. So if you do, uninstall that before you do anything. OK, when the installation's finished, the window will just disappear. So then you're going to go back to the revolutionary website. Scroll down to download for Windows. Go ahead and click on that. And the download will begin. Leave this window open. We're going to need to fill out this beta key information a little later. Okay, So I have that file downloaded here. It's a zip file. So first thing we need to do is right click on it. Go extract all. Hit extract. Okay, and then you should have these files here. It extracted just to a folder right here. Okay, and then I'll show you what you need to do with your phone. Okay, so with your phone, you're going to plug it into your computer. Make sure it's in charge only mode. Hit done. Then menu, settings applications, development, and check USB debugging, and hit OK. So make sure that's checked and you get a new notification up here. Little exclamation mark inside of a triangle. Alright, now you need to go back to your computer. OK, now that our phone's in USB debugging mode, we can run the tool. So go ahead and right click on this revolutionary program, run as administrator, and just let it run. Okay, after a couple minutes this text popped up, so it found my phone, here's my device my bootloader version, my Android version, my ROM version. This is my phone's serial number. So I'm going to need to keep that up and pull up this beta form. Select my device, which is Thunderbolt. HBoot version, which is right here. And serial number. Generate key. Okay, copy this beta key. Right click right up here. Edit, paste, hit enter. Okay, after about a minute, this text popped up. Now it says waiting for fast boot. My phone has booted to the bootloader. And it looks like it's been successful so far. Okay, at this point you should now see this screen. This is your bootloader screen. See at the top now it says revolutionary and S off. 
So that's good, that's what we were trying to do. Now I'll show you how to flash the recovery. So now it's asking me, do you want to download and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery? I do, so I want to hit yes. You all should do this. So my revolutionary tool crashed while it was downloading the recovery. So I just ran the revolutionary tool again and this text popped up, found my device, it says you're already S off, what exactly do you think you're doing? Um, do you want to download the recovery again? So I'm going to try again. This time I turned off my firewall so hopefully it works. says it's done so if you have a firewall make sure it's disabled while downloading the recovery okay there we go it says it successfully flashed my recovery so now I will show you how to check that show you how to root the phone okay at this point your phone should now look like this have the revolutionary um, pink label at the top, second line should say S off. We're going to now go into the bootloader by pushing the power button. It'll check for a zip file, so just wait for that. Okay, now we're going to navigate down to recovery, so push volume down and then the power button. There we go. There's our revolutionary clockwork mod recovery. So we have an S off bootloader and we have a recovery. Okay, so now I'll show you how to root the phone. So while you're in recovery here and you have your phone plugged into your computer, go down to mounts and storage and then select with the power button. Go to mount USB storage and your phone will mount as a disk drive and I'll show you what you do on the computer. So my phone has mounted as a disk drive, the SD card, I'm going to open up the folder. You can go to computer and you'll see your removable disk here. Okay, then you're going to download the SU file that's in the video description. Go ahead and copy that. Leave it zipped up. Do not touch it. And just paste it on the root of your SD card. Okay, then go ahead and eject your SD card. Okay, once you put the SU file on your SD card, you can then select unmount then hit the back button then at the main screen go to install zip from SD card Up, um, choose zip from SD card and then find the SU file that's right there Let's see if we can get that okay then I'm gonna hook, hit the power button go down to yes to flash it Okay, there we go, we just rooted. We go back, reboot system now. Okay, so we're booted back up. As you can see, all my apps are still there. Really, the only one I added is that root check app. But if you go to the app drawer, you'll see now you have the super user app there. 
Okay, so I'm going to run this root check. I'm going to allow it. Look at that. Congratulations, you have root access. So there you go. As simple as that. No wiping of your data.